Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this sales funnel software review, we're gonna be looking at Optimize Press and Thrive Themes, specifically the top five reasons Thrive Themes is better than Optimize Press. And so make sure you check out the link in the description to other software reviews and playlists that compare Thrive Themes and Optimize Press to other solutions like Lead Pages, Click Funnels, and Instapage. So in this video review, we're gonna be looking at the Optimize Press publisher package and the Thrive Themes membership. So they will both include split testing and it's around the same price point. These are, it's going to include all of the features and templates that come stock in both of them. So kicking things off at number five, if you're looking for more than just a page builder, Thrive Themes actually has you covered over Optimize Press because it has multiple themes and multiple blog layouts to choose from. Now, a couple months ago, Optimize Press did finally release their new version of their blog theme. Their old one was extremely ugly and basic, and their new smart theme is very nice. However, it's only one theme compared to the multiple themes and multiple different layouts you have with Thrive Themes. So when it comes to designing your blog and designing that user experience, especially if you're gonna be doing content marketing, stick around for number one, if you're doing content marketing, it is a large cut above Optimize Press when it comes to the blog theme. Now the fourth reason Thrive Themes is better than Optimize Press deals with the training. I was actually very, very impressed with all of the digital marketing training in Thrive University. So what you get when you purchase the Thrive plugin theme membership package is not only all of their themes and all of their plugins, but you also get access to something called Thrive University. And Thrive University is pretty much a complete suite of mini courses that are crash courses on how to be successful digital marketing. So not only do you pay about $200 and you get all of your plugins and your themes and your page builders capabilities that you need to bring your website to life, you also have the training you need to begin to drive traffic and convert visitors into customers. And so inside Thrive University, you have things from how to design a landing page, how to write the sales copy, to basic tactics to building and growing your email list. So it's really, really nice that, especially if you're just getting started, you get all of the tools and software you need and you get the training to make those tools and software effective. And the third reason Thrive Themes is better than Optimize Press comes down to the template selection. Now, Optimize Press does offer their Clubhouse membership. However, that's an additional monthly fee on top of the 197 you pay for the package. So I'm not gonna be considering those templates. I'm just gonna be looking at the templates that you have in the stock version of Thrive and the stock version of Optimize Press. And comparing them side by side, you have significantly more templates and more relevant templates with Thrive themes. One of the th struggles that I've had with Optimize Press is yes, they have a lot of templates, However, it's not as many as Thrive Themes and the templates that are inside of Optimize Press tend to be really repetitive, especially in the Clubhouse membership. You'll see that they release five or six new landing pages, but they're just slightly different variations of the same design. And maybe they'll swap out where the button and the headline is, but the background image is the same across all of them. Whereas with Thrive Themes, you have more templates, there's more variety, and there's more templates that I would actually use for myself or clients, and the templates are not automatically downloaded onto your site. One of the things that's driven me nuts with Optimize Press is when you upload a template to your WordPress site, all of those images and graphics show up in your media library. So as soon as you install the Optimize Press theme, all of a sudden your media library just becomes cluttered with all these different images and assets that apply to different templates of Optimize Press. Whereas Thrive Themes does not physically put the template onto your site until you've actually selected it. So it's very nice that it not only has more templates, but the way that they handle template management and providing the templates to you is a significantly cleaner process. And speaking of templates, reason number two, Thrive Themes is better than Optimize Press comes down to the drag and drop page building functionality. And this is a big, big selling point for both of these plugins and themes because the whole purpose of these is so that you can put together a landing page, a sales page, that you don't have to know any code to have look nice and put together. And comparing the two page building interfaces side by side, Thrive Architect definitely wins when it comes to speed of putting together the page and also the ability to change the elements on the page. One of the biggest drawbacks I had with the Optimize Press page building functionalities was the clunkiness of moving elements around the page. 
Whereas with Thrive Themes, they've come up with, a, I think, a really clever way of moving and manipulating elements on the page. So you can easily move elements up and down, right, or left by just essentially clicking and dragging. It's not like you're clicking and dragging the element on the page itself, but what is nice is you're actually able to edit the elements on the page in real time, whereas Optimize Press, you click a little button, a light box pops up, you enter all the information, and then you click save, and then it shows up, and then you go, oh, actually I need it up a little more, and then you click another button, and then you go and you remove the padding, or you add the padding, and then you click okay, and then you look what it looks like, Whereas Thrive Themes, it's a lot easier to just type directly onto what you see is what you get, and then also use their little drag and drop box to move elements up and down, left and right. So I thought that was really incredible, and it's definitely a huge improvement over the old version. And finally, reason number one, Thrive Themes is better than Optimize Press, comes down to an all-inclusive, all-in-one, done-for-you service when you purchase Thrive Themes. Now, Optimize Press is great if you want a basic blog, you're not really worried about content marketing, and you just want something to throw together some landing pages and sales pages in a snap. Optimize Press has you covered there, and you can purchase their lower tier pricing option to get that done. However, if you are planning on doing any sort of content marketing, or you're looking to have some more complex funnel set up, Thrive Themes with not only their basic Thrive Architect plugin and larger template selection also has a bunch of other plugins that are going to help you be successful with your content marketing and your sales funnel. So we could spend an entire video going through all these, so I'm just going to rapid fire through a few and show you why these additional plugins are so valuable. So the first one I wanna talk about is Thrive Leads. Now, Optimize Press does have their own version of this. However, it's not included in their base package. You have to purchase their Clubhouse membership to have this. And essentially what Thrive Leads allows you to do is to create different opt-in offers depending upon the different type of content on your site. Now, this is something that Clever Widgets does as well. So both of these plugins allow you to show a different offer or a different set of links depending upon the type of blog post someone is reading. So if someone is reading blog post topic A and then they go over to blog post topic B, they're going to see a different opt-in offer and they're going to see different links because these represent two different types of people. So it's a great way to segment your list and provide relevant offers to people on your site. And that actually leads me into the Thrive Quiz Builder, which is something that could easily be 100 or $200 a month extra if you're using some of the popular SaaS applications that provide the ability to create quizzes. And something that's nice about Thrive Quizzes is it also allows you to segment your list and it's a creative way to engage with your website traffic other than just asking for their name and email for the nth time to get a free offer or join a email list. And finally, we have the Thrive Ultimatum plugin. I'll go really fast on this one, but long story short, You've probably gone to a website and seen a countdown timer that was either fake, you refreshed the page, you saw the timer just reset itself, or worse, you've gone to a page that was supposed to have expired and you can still buy the product for the lower price point. Well, Thrive Ultimatum allows you to have those kinds of scarcity and time-limited campaigns on a per user basis, which means user number one and user number two will have different countdown timers and the timers will actually be tied to those people. So if someone clicks a link that's supposed to be expired, it will actually be expired. If someone comes back and refreshes the page, the countdown timer will continue ticking down for that individual. And so you won't look like a liar or another scummy internet marketer. All of your scarcity campaigns will in fact be real. So I think that's really cool. They also figured out how to ensure that someone can't re-opt into your list to go through that sequence again. So if you offer someone a limited time discount or a limited time offer, it's actually a limited time discount and a limited time offer. And that does it for the top five reasons Thrive Themes is better than Optimize Press. So if you have any questions or you have any experiences with either one of these two pieces of software, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I read and reply to every single one and your insights will help other people figure out which software is best for them. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel, I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build a online business from scratch. And of course, choosing your WordPress plugin and your WordPress theme is a huge part of the larger picture of bringing a business to life. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, keep building the business you love. Take care.